as many have heard, uh, the governor's been talking about his flagship economic development program, regional economic development councils, for a long time now. Uh, it was actually during the campaign trail where there was first a policy uh, proposal for this. Uh, after elected, uh, there have been rumblings about this big plan that was going to roll out in two to three weeks. And frankly, it's been two to three weeks for the last two to three months. We were, of course, very disappointed this past legislative session that you know middle class and good jobs were being cut as part of the state budget. And so we're actually moving backwards in New York when we really have to move forwards. This time last summer, a 50-year-old gentleman sat in my office and sobbed as he told me that although he has a college degree in business administration, he was competing for the exact same minimum wage jobs as his 19-year-old daughter. And he was struggling to find the language to explain to his 10-year-old son that they would be moving from the only house that boy ever knew as his home. They would be leaving New York State and traveling cross country to move in into the basement at grandma and grandpa's house. While corporations are recovering from the economy, uh, from the recession rather, people are still starving for jobs. Yet New York continues to give huge subsidies and tax breaks to big businesses with no strings attached and no assurance that jobs, let alone living wage jobs, are created and sustained. I've seen a lot of development over the years, but it seems like a lot of these developments are being, are, are being workers from out of state, okay? Right, they, they get the tax breaks, they bring in everybody from out of state, so the same skilled people that are in Yonkers and unemployed, they're still in Yonkers and unemployed, okay? Every day I pass by another publicly subsidized project, the FedEx warehouse is six miles from my house. I wish I could get work on this project, but the contractors from Indiana has hired mostly out-of-state workers. I can't believe that taxpayers are subsidizing projects that don't even create good jobs for local people. There are thousands of New Yorkers like me out there who are missing out of a job, but we're willing, ready, and able to work. Now more than anything, we need a good job plan from Albany, and we need it now. We've uh, released this report today, Seizing the Moment, and this is our pitch that this is actually a great opportunity with Regional Economic Development Council to do something transformative and move us beyond the status quo and instead of creating this perhaps another level of bureaucracy that we can't penetrate, do something transformative that's going to create quality jobs for New York. Uh, in it, we detail the principles I outlined, best practices from around the country, and make a pretty simple point that in a state where we spend more than $8 billion a year through corporate tax subsidies in the name of job creation, we need to have some rules on the road.